Hello, my name is Chintan and today in this video we will be learning how to model this bridge inside of SketchUp. Now this bridge is located in Calgary, Canada and was designed by Santiago Calatrava. So let's take a look at how we can model this inside of SketchUp. Let's go. Okay, so open up the meters template and then press C on your keyboard which is for the circle tool. Then type 60 and then press enter to change the number of sides to 60. Now we need to draw it in the red axis so press the right arrow key and then click on the origin and then type 6 to make a circle of radius 6 meters then use the join push pull tool to give it a thickness of 130 meters like this now select this face and copy it after that select everything and make it a group now go into edit and then paste in place so that paste the circle that we copied inside the same place then use the move tool along with the control key and copy it for a distance of 0.6 meters and then type x into 20 to make 20 copies like this then make a selection from left to right and then make this a group now we have two groups one containing the 20 circles and one of the whole cylinder after that go into view and then turn on hidden geometry that would allow these dashed lines after that press L on the keyboard and then start drawing diagonal lines like this so essentially what we are doing is we are making small line segments that would eventually give us a curve like because in any 3D software and SketchUp as well every circle is essentially a polygon of very small segments hence if we join all these segments together we will get a curve that is wrapped around this whole cylinder and then eventually it would give us that diagonal structure that we are looking for so make this curve now this curve is made of various small segments so if we double click on this and right click on that and click on weld edges that would join the whole curve now make a copy of it by using the rotate tool and make a copy of it at 120 degrees and then press x into 2 to make two copies like this after that select all the three curves and then use the move tool and make a copy of them along the green axis for a distance let's say 20 meters now right click on them and then flip them along the green axis and move them back in place by 20 meters as well like this now if we turn off the hidden geometry and delete this group we have these curves that are wrapped around the cylinder so if we click the cylinder and then explode it we would get these surfaces which are essentially curved surfaces that are wrapped around a cylinder after that select any surface and press G on your keyboard to make it component number 1 and then rotate 2 copies of it using the Q and the control key at 120 degrees and then type X into 2 to make 2 copies and then replace all the surfaces with the help of components similarly for this one press G on your keyboard and make this component number 2 and similarly make a copy of it by 120 degrees and then type X into 2 to make 2 copies and then lastly click on this circular base and then make it component number 3 like this now if you triple click on this remaining cylinder everything except the components would be selected and then we can delete that after that select these 3 components and use the move tool along with the control key and make a copy of these 3 along the red axis and to fit in place rotate it by 60 degrees like this now we have these six components so select these six and then make a copy of it along the red axis and then type x into nine to we'll make nine copies like this after that select these three components and make a copy of it along the red axis as well till this point and then flip it along the red axis now we need to rotate this to fit in place so we can do that by going to this point which is the origin 
and rotate it by 60 degrees and then you can use the move tool from this point to fit, move it back in place like this after that the third component make a copy of it as well and then move it back a layer and then flip it along the red axis like this so essentially we created the whole cylinder with the help of components now moving ahead we want to offset this surface but we cannot do that using the normal offset tool inside of SketchUp as it only offsets the coplanar surfaces so if we bring on a plugin that is known as tools or surface and if we click on this tool that says offset on surface we can essentially offset curved surfaces so offset this surface by 0.6 meters after that click on this tool that says arc and we would make arcs on the four point to give it a rounded corner look so reach the midpoint of this mark and then you can simply draw arcs on this face and then delete these remaining corners and then delete this point similarly for this one click on this and then make an arc like this and use the eraser tool to remove these extra geometry Once you have this surface, you can edit the other component. So double click on the other component and offset it by 0.6 meters as before. And then use the arc tool to make rounded corners on it. And then use the eraser tool like before to delete the remaining geometry. point as well now after this we need to take the components that are on the upper level and make uh, the glass covering for that so edit this component and press ctrl x to cut this surface and paste it outside the component so use ctrl shift v and make it a separate group similarly for this one select this surface press ctrl x and then go outside the component and paste it inside the same place and then group it to make it a group now we can also close this plugin we don't need that anymore now we can give it a glass material like this now select both of these and use the rotate tool the shortcut for which is Q and make two copies of it at 60 degrees by typing 60 and then press X into 2 to make two copies like this now these two are not in place so let's move this back in place so pick it from this point and move it till here now select this one and move it along the red axis and place it over here and then flip it along the red and then move it back in place like this now select these glass groups and make it a single group like this now go inside that group and to fill the remaining spaces make a copy of it like this and then type x into 9 to make 9 copies like this once you have this you can edit this component and double click to select the whole component and 
press shift on your keyboard and deselect this face now right click and press weld to weld the whole edge and then use the join push pull tool to give it a thickness of 25 meters like this if we don't do this and we don't weld the circle we would get these lines on the push pull so for that weld the outside edge and then use the push pull to give it a clean look and then offset it up by 25 meters like this now go into front view so go to view go to camera standard views and then front view and also go to camera and toggle on parallel projection like this now we need to just draw a triangle like this and make it a group and also give it some thickness like this now if we go back into front view and toggle on x-ray we can simply move this to the right like this and if we select this whole surface and then intersect it with the model you would see after we delete the whole component gets sliced so we can simply edit this component and select this part and press delete that would give us this shape we can also delete this face and we have a shape that looks like this now if we hide the glass component or the glass group we can hide this and then we have this whole shape left with us we can select everything and explode it right click explode and then make it a single group and then use the join push pull tool to give it a thickness of 0.6 meters and then press enter it might take some time depending on your system Once it's done, you can see the basic form of our bridge is almost ready. We can bake back the glass component by Alt H or we can simply go to Edit and go to Unhide and Unhide All or Unhide Last. Now then go to Top View, toggle on Parallel Projection and then make a guideline at 4.5 meters and on the bottom at 4.5 meters as well and then simply make a rectangle like this and these guidelines make it a group and also give it some thickness after editing the group like this and move it down in the blue axis like this once we have this we can copy this edge and then paste it outside the group after this make a rectangle in the red axis like this approximately of height 1.2 meters like this and then offset this face by 0.5 meters like this and from this point as well 0.5 meters and then make an arc like this or let's say point 0.1 and similarly for this point point 0.1 and then delete these lines and then make a copy of this by point 0.1 as well and make a copy of this as point 0.1 like this then select these and make it a group after that select the whole group deselect the group that you made and press delete like this now you can simply explode it select this line and press follow me and make these two lines 
and then group it again like this and also you can soften and smooth in the edges and give it a glass material as well like this and that would give us the railings after that select everything and make it a group and move it in place at the origin like this now we need to bend it as you can see in this photo it's a bent bridge so that it's structurally more viable so make a line like this from this point to this point and then make a copy of this line in the green axis at any distance it doesn't matter and then make an arc from this point to this point at a height of 3 meters like this and then delete these parts now if we use the plugin that is known as shape bender which has an icon like this so if you select this group click on the shape bender icon you can see the mouse sort of turns with a pointer with a straight line so click on this straight line and then click on this curved line as the pointer turns to a curved line and if you wait a little it would show you a projected image of how your group would look after being bent so here it is and if you press enter to confirm it would finalize the shape and then give you a group that is bent like this now we can close this plugin and also delete this now you can see it has a small hole which is due to the bending of the geometry so we can simply uh, make lines like this to fill it and we have a group or a we have a bridge rather which is bent so we can move this back in place like this and now if we simply turn off the axes and turn on the shadows we have our piece bridge made inside of sketchup so this is how we can model geometries that look almost impossible to model inside of sketchup and so you can be creative with this and if you learned something new in the video please consider subscribing also if you have any doubts or if you want to ask something you can join our discord server or you can just leave them in the comments and i would see you in the next video till then keep creating goodbye